Have you ever had floating spots, cobwebs, or blobs in your vision? I'm Dr. Michael Chua with Puente Hills Eye Care, and in this video, I'll be discussing floaters, what they are, what causes them, and what we can do about them. Before we can discuss floaters, let's review some relevant eye anatomy. Inside the eye is a jelly-like substance called the vitreous. With time, the vitreous begins to soften and liquefy into smaller pieces. These small clumps can cast shadows on the retina, which we can see as spots or blobs floating around. These are floaters. They may be more apparent when we look at a bright background, like a white plain wall or the sky. Fortunately, with time, most of these condensations settle down at the bottom of the eye and become hardly noticeable. The sudden onset of floaters and flashes of light may be signs of what's called a posterior vitreous detachment, or PVD. As we mentioned before, the vitreous is the jelly-like substance in the eye, and as we all get a little bit older, the vitreous condenses and shrinks. As the vitreous separates from the retina, we may notice symptoms such as flashes and floaters. The flashes may look like streaks of lightning or camera flashes, often in the sides of our vision. Unfortunately, this vitreous detachment process can also lead to tears in the retina. If there's a retinal tear, fluid can get behind the retina and cause it to detach like wallpaper peeling off a wall. This is a retinal detachment and is an eye emergency. The most common risk factor for floaters is age. In general, patients around age 50 to 60 typically begin to notice floaters as the posterior vitreous detachment process starts. Although, vitreous detachments and floaters tend to occur earlier in patients who are myopic or nearsighted. Also, patients who have had a history of eye trauma are at risk of developing floaters. Okay, a quick note on when to see your eye doctor. If you ever notice sudden onset flashes, floaters, or curtains or shades coming down over your vision, you should call to make an appointment with your eye doctor immediately. That's because these may be signs of retinal tears or retinal detachments, which are eye emergencies. And the sooner that these are treated, the better the clinical outcome. Now that we covered the basics of floaters, let's review treatments and prognosis. Studies have shown that more than 85% of patients who experience floaters and posterior vitreous detachment never go on to develop any complications. And typically, these symptoms subside within about three months. Therefore, observation is the most common management strategy for floaters. If complications of vitreous detachments, such as retinal tears or retinal detachments, are found on examination, then lasers or surgery may be indicated to prevent vision loss. If a patient notices that these floaters are persisting for several months and that symptoms are debilitating, preventing them from doing their normal daily activities such as working or driving, then they can consider discussing surgery to remove the vitreous jelly. This is called a vitrectomy. Like with any surgery, vitrectomies have their own inherent risks such as infection, early cataract formation, the development of more retinal tears, as well as vitreous bleeding. Therefore, typically, vitrectomy is not recommended for floaters. Another more recent treatment option for floaters is the use of a laser to break up clumps of vitreous, which hopefully makes them less noticeable. This is called laser vitreolysis. Although this procedure doesn't require surgery and can be done in the office, it too has its own risks, such as rises in intraocular pressure, as well as inadvertent damage to the lens or the retina. So in summary, although these floaters can be annoying and a nuisance, by far the most common management strategy by eye doctors is to observe them and to wait for them to become less noticeable. I hope this review of floaters was helpful to you. If you found this video useful, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you live in the Los Angeles, Orange County, or Inland Empire area and want to get your floaters checked out, feel free to visit our website or give our phone number a call to make an appointment today. I'm Dr. Michael Chua with Puente Hills Eye Care. See you next time.